My Christmas in the Sahara Desert, 1984, Julie Dawson. For one month, my husband Peter and I jolted our way through the Sahara Desert in an old Bedford military truck. 4,000 miles, no roads, just following tracks in the sand. From Lome, Togo to Tunis, Tunisia. The Sahara is larger than the United States with ever-changing terrain. From vast sands stretching hundreds of miles in every direction to sweeping expanses of dramatic dunes. From deep, raw crevices to high, rugged cliffs. Only occasionally did we see people in small enclaves of huts or in clusters of nomads with their temporary reed mat shelters. So many words describe the Sahara without end, daunting, remote isolation. Nights were breathtaking. Absolute darkness invited the skies to spill their stars in brilliant profusion. Each night we felt the enormity of the cascading roof protecting totally vacant lands. And then one night we were not alone. Three tall camels wearing long robe bedrooms silently drifted by. The three wise men? It was easy to lose track of the date. What fun to discover that one of our group not only remembered it was Christmas, but did something about it. Our Christmas campsite was in a bleak area in Burkina Faso. Sand, sand, sand. Some patches of scraggly grass and a few scrub trees. Imagine our delight when we dragged out of our wee pup tent Christmas morning and found a little tree adorned with foil-wrapped potatoes and shaving cream. Instant Christmas for the 21 of us from 11 different countries. Soon, little tribal children appeared from who knows where to gaze at this crazy group of people and their weird tree. When we struck camp, we just couldn't bring ourselves to strip the tree. As we bounced away, we looked back to see the children squealing with delight over they knew not what. Peace, Julie Dawson.